fare next. If you use a major road in Sydney's west, there's a good chance that right now it's under construction. Billions of dollars are being spent upgrading more than 60 kilometres of roads and it's creating hundreds of local jobs now with thousands more to come. It may be transforming Sydney's road network, but the Western Sydney infrastructure plan also means jobs. Just ask Borcat Trailers. All of our big customers are being confident for the last 13 months and the smaller guys in the last 12 months have all started buying equipment, so yeah, it's very good. Borcat makes truck trailers for construction companies. The Wetherill Park firm moved into a larger factory this year, then employed six more tradespeople and two apprentices. The signs are out for even more workers. The more we do, the more we're buying locally, so it helps our suppliers as well. Proudly from St Mary's, Anthony Scarcella runs a construction company and plant hire firm. They're working on the Warrington Arterial, widening roads and building a new overpass. I've never seen it like this, to be honest. He's gone from 18 staff to almost 50, most live within five kilometres. Western Sydney businesses used to fight over scraps of work. Now, new projects mean new trucks and machinery. As we speak now, the phone's always ringing, people are always asking um, to get their jobs done, so for us it's been absolutely fantastic. His crew will also work on the second stage of the half billion dollar Leppington to Brinjelli road upgrade. On this side alone at the moment there are some 170 to 200 people working and that doesn't include those bringing in supplies like concrete. But this project still has three years to go and that means employment for many, many more. 65 Western Sydney contractors and suppliers have now been awarded $18 million in work. In the next 10 years, Western Sydney infrastructure projects will create 4,000 direct and indirect jobs. That includes the next stage of the Norellan Road upgrade. Seymour White will take this from four lanes to six and will also hire locally. In New South Wales, we're growing quicker than any other state that we're in. These road projects are jointly funded by the state and federal governments. This will provide the road connectivity for the expected one million people that will move to Western Sydney over the next 20 years. And support the new airport at Badgerys Creek. And of course these facilities then create new economic activity. Businesses find it more valuable to locate. That creates new jobs as well. Eddie Meyer, Nine News. A fiery child.